Hi, I'm Nils Rasmussen. Um, I am a cheapskate and I, my wife's sewing machine is broken here so I called a sewing machine repair place and they told me it was going to be $90 to fix it. So I um, decided to do a little internet research, figure out how to fix it if I could myself and um, fortunately as you'll see here this was just a fix that required some adjustment, no parts or anything like that. So um, the fix we'll be doing today is if you're the hook, uh, the circle with the hook on it under here, I don't know the term so I apologize, but if that's not grabbing on to the thread um, which is causing the making the loop so that it actually sews properly. In my case it's just spinning around, the thread's coming, um, it's not grabbing on to anything. So that's what we're going to be fixing today and let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see I've got a uh, Singer sewing machine here, this is an older one and I guess that's relative, but anyway, um, I've taken some basic tools. I've got a Phillips, a flathead, a pair of pliers, and some Allen wrenches. And I've taken the bottom off of the uh, sewing machine, which is pretty easy to do. Just a couple of screws and, a, and loosening a nut, and that's all taken apart. So, Okay, so here's the underside of the sewing machine. And as you can see, there's a lot of gears and mechanisms and such going on here. So we've got our uh, power terminal down at the bottom, or the power block, and then Here's the drive shaft I was telling you about. Um, so it's this silver metal, um, silver piece right in the middle here that comes along. And what we're going to be focused on, on today to fix this is actually, um, let's get in focus here, this, this black um, bearing, I'm not sure, again, I'm not good with terms and stuff like that, but we're going to be working with that. And as we turn the hand wheel back here, you'll see this turning and then it exposes, I've already loosened this up so that's why it's not turning quite so well but you see this little uh, bushing right here or the uh, set screw and that is what we're going to be loosening to, to adjust the hook, the hook wheel. If I rotate the wheel here you can see there's only, in this case there's just one set screw in there. Um, I've seen other videos where there are two set screws on this piece so just basically what we're trying to do is find the one that has the gear on the end that controls the uh, turning of that hook wheel um, over on the back side here. So what I just did was adjusted this, uh, loosen, loosen this, and in, in my case at least, um, it's just on a number, I just used a, what is this, a two and a half millimeter Allen uh, key here. So I just loosened that, um, kind of played around with it, and I just happened to get pretty lucky on the timing of that one where I just tightened it down just to show. Okay, so our goal here, and I think I, I just in loosening and tightening that set screw down on the uh, bearing down below or the bushing down below, um, it looks like I'm, I've already got it started to be fixed. So as you can see, as I'm rotating this down, as soon as it gets down, you'll see the hook enter the picture from the right. There it is. There, there it is, yeah. And you see it just grabbed on right there. And that's what we want. So if I reverse that out, let's make sure that happens. Okay, you know what? I think I may have just gotten it, and that was just by sheer luck. So as it's just kind of at its lowest point, that hook should be passing right by it and then snagging on. So like I say, it looks like we might have it here. So I'm going to put this uh, partially back together and give it a try and we'll see. Okay, I just put it partially back together and I'm kind of shocked and amazed honestly that uh, with that first attempt it seemed to work. So as you can see, I just got it on a straight stitch here. I lift this up. Look at that. It actually worked. So basically that's the that's what I learned about uh, fixing the timing on the hook wheel for a sewing machine. So if you have any questions or comments or anything, uh, I'll see what I can do to help. Please feel free to comment. Thanks.